Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be creating a simple modal in HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So I can click on this button, I get an overlay that takes over the screen and then I've also got my modal and then I can go ahead and just close that. So I'm going to go and make a directory called modal, I'm going to change directory into that folder and I'm just going to open that up with Visual Studio code. Once we're done, Go ahead and create uh, index.html and then I'm going to start with some bootstrap 5 boilerplate so just go ahead run that I'm going to remove all the JavaScript because we don't need to deal with that change the h1 to a button say click here to open the modal whatever you want to call it title I'm going to say modal and then I'm going to call in my style.css so link CSS and let's just create that file so style.css now over here i've just got a couple of styles that i'm going to copy in and all it is is a google font so roboto i'm just changing the box style into border box on everything and then the um basically the, the height i'm just setting to 100 percent and i'm just centering our items so nothing fancy there i'm going to go ahead and save this and open it up with a live studio sorry live server and we have a very basic button down here. So let's start that up. Class equals btn btn hyphen dark because we're obviously calling in bootstrap up here. We can take advantage of those stylings. And then what I'm gonna do down here is I'm gonna create a class called modal container. In there, I'm gonna create a modal. And then in here, I'm gonna have a h1 say modal title. I'm gonna have a P with some lower mipson. And then we obviously need a button again. So actually, you know what? I might just copy this button up here. And then let's just do close. Close, fantastic. Now I'm gonna target these ID, uh, these elements with IDs. So I could be specific and, you know, like select a certain item, but um, just for simplicity state sake, I'm gonna, Give this an ID of open, and then I'm going to give this an ID of closed. Save that, and now we've got our, our modal that floating in the um, in the middle of the screen. Now, obviously, it's styled a little bit mad, so let's go ahead and fix that. So, first things first, I'm going to come over to the container, and this is going to be the overlay, essentially. So, I'm going to say modal container. Is it modal? Did I call it modal? Yeah. MDL container. So what I'm going to say here, first of all, the background. Background is going to be RGB and it's going to be a black, so 0, 0, 0. And then I'm going to give it a 0 0.3 transparency. Then I'm going to say position is fixed. And the height is 100 viewport heights. Oh, viewport heights, width, 100 viewport widths. Then I'm going to obviously style my content and justify that. So play flex. We want everything in the center. And um, justify content center. Align items center. Now I'm going to create a uh, opacity. Actually, you know what? Let's leave that for a second. Let's just save this. And so we've obviously got a a a slightly grayed out background, and our elements are now sat over that. So that's the container that's essentially the overlay we'll come back to the the transition and the, um, the actual opacity of, of the element in a second next we want to target the actual modal itself so you know what pops up so i'm going to come over here and say mdl let me just double check mdl yeah we called it mdl so i'm going to say modal and this is going to have a background of white I'm going to say width is say 600 pixels. The uh, border radius is going to be, let's say 10 pixels. Let's see how that looks. And um, the max width, I'm going to set to 100%. Uh, I'm going to move that up a line actually, just budge that right next to um, width. The reason we have that is obviously when you resize a window, if we say 600 pixels is the width, then it will always be um, 600 pixels so if you go if your screen is smaller than 600 pixels it's obviously going to break out of that container so adding i'm going to add 
um, let's say 50 pixels top and bottom left and right for the time being I don't well I might change that I'm gonna just bring over here yeah I think that looks that looks pretty decent okay so first things first let's um let's t sort out the actual um the, the fact that the uh, the path of is always here the model is always here so I obviously can't click beyond this but what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the opacity is zero now if I save this I'm still not going to be able to click this button because it although the opacity is zero it still thinks that it's there it's just not shown to the user so what you want to do is you want to change pointer events so pointer events and set that to none now I should be able to click straight through this button and I and I can fantastic now I also want a transition on this so I'm, what I'm going to say is transition and I want to transition the opacity and I want to transition this in 0.4 seconds and I'm just going to terminate that now what I'm going to do is when we click on this button we're going to be adding a class to the container so we're going to show it and we're going to hide it so I'm going to copy this line and then I'm going to say dot show and if what well, if the class of the container has got a, another class called show what I'm going to say is the opacity is one I'm going to save that I'm going to come back to my and let's just get rid of the directory I'm going to come back up to the actual um, index.html page here now I'm going to just bring this down and Rather than calling in a whole script, again, for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to put the script in down here. So script, and what I'm going to say is I want to I, I want to get these elements first. So this one, this one, and this one. So the open, the container, and the close button. I'm going to say const open is equal to document.getElement by ID. And then I'm going to say open. I'm going to copy that line down. Say close. Is it? equal to close and then I'm going to say const MDL is equal to document dot query selector and what we what we're trying to select we're trying to select the dot MDL hyphen container fantastic now really really simple what I want to do is I want to add an event listener so whenever someone clicks on the open it's going to change the transparency so it's going to just add that class and then whenever someone clicks on the close it's going to remove that class which obviously show so before we, I suppose, move on, let's just see if that works. If I add show here, yeah, it does. So, save that. I'm going to do open. So I'm referencing this bit here. And I'm going to do add event listener. I want to listen for a click, and then I want to do something. So I'm going to say um, MDL dot class list dot add. And then what am I going to add? I'm going to add show. Now we can copy this. Lock it down. And then I'm going to just replace this. And then I'm going to remove show. So if we save that. Come over here. Reload our page. Click on the box. Nothing happens. But let's find out what's going on. Zoom in a little bit. Um, open dot add event listener. Okay, I see. I've got a lowercase l. So change that. Come back over here. So um, the issue was open dot add event listener. The, it should be a capital A capital L, and likewise with close. So if I click on that button, now we get the modal because it adds the class. And let me just show you that actually happening. So um, modal hyphen container show. If I close that. like it okay so what's going on there doesn't like close so make sure that we've got an id close and close is clicked we want to remove show so i'm just going to reload open ah, okay pointer events needs to be um active activated pointer events and we say auto so we need to set the pointer events because obviously we set this to none. We can't actually click anything on the modal. So um, pointer events auto is the default. So right now, now I can click on the actual element and that will be removing the class show. 
Thanks very much for watching. If you do have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. But until next time, take it easy.